From one plane to another, this one flies faster than the speed of sound. Yes, you heard it right. The new quiet supersonic plane X-59 is here. It is a brainchild of Lockheed Martin and NASA. They are trying to bring back supersonic travel and they plan to demonstrate it via the new X-59. So what are the features of this new aircraft? What is it worth? Is it the future of aviation? Will it change commercial air travel? Our next report brings you all these details. X-59 supersonic aircraft is here. It is also known by the name Sun of Concord. A week ago, it was rolled out by NASA and Lockheed Martin. Let's take a look at its features. The aircraft stands almost 100 feet long and 30 feet wide. Almost a third of the jet's length is made up by its thin and tapered nose. Why so? We'll get to that in a while. The plane's cockpit is located about halfway down its length. Because of this, pilots would have to rely on camera monitors to fly it. As for speed, the aircraft is expected to fly at 1.4 times the speed of sound. That is almost 1500 km per hour. To put that into perspective, if the X-59 took off from New York City, it would land in London in the next three and a half hours. Sounds promising, doesn't it? But there are many concerns around supersonic jets. So much so that in the last 50 years, the US and other nations have banned supersonic flights. Remember the Concorde aircraft? It was the first supersonic commercial passenger airplane. It could travel some 2,200 km per hour. It took to the sky in 1976 for the first time, but less than three decades later it was permanently grounded. Why so? You see, the Concorde was plagued by costly maintenance. It also suffered a fatal crash in the year 2000. Not to forget, whenever the Concorde flew, it left a trail of thunderous sonic boom behind it. That is, by and large, the biggest concern. When planes exceed the speed of sound, they create startling sonic booms. For those unversed, a sonic boom is a loud noise left behind by a high-speed aircraft. It is as loud as thunder or an explosion. The Concorde couldn't fly for long, but now its sun is here. How is it any different? Will it not create any sonic booms? The answer lies in the nose. As I told you, the X-59 has a long, thin and tapered nose. Scientists expect it to break up the shockwaves that would otherwise cause a sonic boom. The plane's mouth underside would also support that. The X-59 is part of NASA's Quest mission. Through this mission, the space agency aims to make its case in front of the regulators. It wants them to reconsider the ban on supersonic aircraft. The ultimate goal is to make commercial supersonic flight possible. As of now, the X-59 is in experimental stage. Its creators say the plane doesn't make a sonic boom. But a soft thump. It will take to skies later in the year. After the maiden voyage, it will make its first quiet supersonic flight. And when it does that, the plane would collect data from the people below to find out if the sonic thump is acceptable. This data will decide the fate of the X-59. Will the US and international regulation authorities lift the ban on supersonic commercial planes? Will supersonic travel return soon? We'll have to wait and watch. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.